What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal made a community post last night. It was glow up arc step number one. Never give attention or energy to haters. Attempt number 990. Well, I'm sorry, 292,911. Even I've lost count as many as it's been. Let's go. And then a proclamation that she wants to get healthy so she can help others and travel and make meaningful content. Now, obviously, as she says, Multiple times she's attempted to make this concept work. If you look at from a Beezer perspective, which I know none of us really like to look at things, but the last couple days, all we've really had is the walking challenge that set her back to the point where she's claiming she's immobile. That was, of course, sparked by the bedbound era hour stream where she couldn't get up from the sofa and then culminated in what was the Beezing Hour podcast, which we've never received any schedule for may never even happen again, and ironically enough, has had podcast removed from the title of the video, but also, if you go back and look, most of your reaction channels got just as many views as Chantal did covering the podcast as she did actually creating it. Now, this morning, that new content had an opportunity to come to fruition. So she makes a cartoon, and that's fine. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. At this point, anything Chantal can do different from laying there, complaining and eating, I'm all for. But if we're going to talk about cartoons, Dank Fupa is now the gold standard of cartoons in our community. If you haven't seen their channel, highly recommend you check it out. Can't wait for Saturday morning, maybe even Friday night if they put up an episode early again. But Chantal's Dipping Sauce Negligence is about a four and a half minute cartoon that focuses on the premise that we've all been, we've all had, we've all seen. You go to a drive through they mess up your order. So you're taking something that can be comical, you're taking something that can be relatable, and Chantal can't quite get reaction channels out of her mind. Because the premise of this was that the person that got too few dipping sauces returns to the restaurant to complain that they can't enjoy their meal with Jerry Springer. So they're watching like a crash TV, if you will. And they offer that because the sauces were not complete, they couldn't enjoy the meal, they had to return, and now that Jerry Springer will be missed, the only thing they can watch is reaction channels talking about Chantal. So it's intriguing to me how we can go in a 12-hour span from, I'm never giving these people attention, I have to live my best life, I have to go out and travel, I have to get my health in order, to creating something that we're uploading in that same exact time frame, more than likely, about reaction channels. So with that in mind, I know a lot of people have talked about the comparisons to Life by Jen, because by all accounts, when Life by Jen went bedbound, that was essentially what we now know was the beginning of the end. And there's a lot of people, Beezers and non-Beezers alike, that are making that correlation to Chantal. Now, what I would express to you is, obviously, I'm not a doctor, but there's a lot of people in the comment section proclaiming to be, and even if one of them actually is, there's an overwhelming sentiment that Chantal is not honest about her medical condition. What I would offer is, it seems to me like a lot of times Chantal simply reads a diagnosis, reads what would be done in a certain situation, and then proclaim that as what she's going through. Case in point, this most recent bedbound start came on the heels of her walking, saying her sciatica was acting up, then getting an injection of something which she was completely unsure of, and then being told to lay in bed for a week. Now, most people I've seen in the comments section, and some of the research I've done on my own, has actually said this would not be the preferred method of treating this, that it could actually make it worse. We also know Chantal, based on the past, has had issues with mobility, she constantly moans and groans just trying to move around, possibly being diabetic, if you want to believe that diagnosis. She could certainly have issues with circulation, which would create issues for bed sores. She certainly has issues with sanitation, which could, again, create an entire different level of issues if you have bacteria growth in areas that she can't reach. And this is something that was highlighted by Pete's once having to use a blow dryer on her while holding up a section of her to make sure that she had wounds healing properly. He also infamously said that this area stunk very badly. So it's not uncommon. 
it's not out of the realm of possibility to look at this situation and say this could certainly be making things worse. And you also have her clearly sitting in bed with nothing other to do than to focus on reaction channels and try to make content, which, as I said, had all of the prospect to be relatable and funny, but couldn't because she is incapable of getting out of her own way in terms of making content that is unique to her. I just, quite frankly, don't understand it. She should be in a position where she is better than ever. This is now over a year in Kuwait. Right, Kuwait was going to be the savior. Kuwait was going to limit her ability to get foods because she couldn't drive. Kuwait, of course, had Salah, who was going to be the most supportive person ever. And she was going to go to a gym multiple times and get her life back in order to really stick it to all the haters. And that's really what she's tried to do for quite a while. She wants to project that, you know, she's sticking it to the haters. But the reality is, not a lot of people hate her. Okay, they dislike her actions, they dislike the person she's shown to be, they certainly dislike what she's done with her animals, but at the same time, she's also done a lot of things to spite those, quote, haters, if you will. Constantly projecting about Sala, constantly projecting about the animals she gets, and then obviously now in a position to try to appear that she's bedbound to garner sympathy from the community at the end of the month while making some of the most deplorable and disgusting posts about community members that she's ever made. She also tends to have the mindset that she can post whatever she wants because she's impulsive and then delete it and that somehow that didn't happen. In reality, Chantal has made just as vile comments about her as anyone has made about her in what she said, you know, the whole barracuda ricotta cheese. She's also went back at just about every channel harder than they've went at her. And if you want to say that, you know, turnabout is fair play, don't dish it if you can't take it, fine. But Chantel tends to kind of throw those things out and then delete those videos or delete those posts. And when other creators don't do that, she likes to sit there and project, well, look at all the things this person says or does about me, but then fails to mention that she's done all those same things. She's just kind of gotten rid of the evidence that that was done. So it'll be interesting to see Going forward, is she really going to finally step up, get her health in order, get to the point she can travel, make meaningful content? But can she just continue to focus on herself? Because that's what all of this boils down to, the inability to focus on her. You would think that if she really is bedbound, it would be a massive red flag that it's time to take everything seriously. You know, we honestly injured ourselves walking and now we can't get out of bed, you would think that she would try to prioritize what's truly important, which would not be reaction channels she claims to not care about so much, but clearly that's not something, at least at face value today, she's willing to start doing. So I would love to know your thoughts on this. Do you really feel like she's bed bound? Do you feel like she made everything up? Do you know why she can't let go of reaction channels in the community? Other than that, I appreciate you watching this. We'll leave you with the top comments from the last video and be back as soon as I can with more content.